I got into the world of project management through Microsoft Project. It was a big break. And I am going to teach you today some of the basics I learned that catapulted me to success in project management. This is Microsoft Project in five minutes. Let's go. Welcome, my friends, to Microsoft Project in five minutes. All I need is five minutes to show you how this thing works. This is Microsoft Project. When you get into the program, the first thing you want to do is hit New and then Blank Project. Here at the bottom, change this feature from New Tasks Manually Scheduled to New Tasks Auto Scheduled right over here. We're going to change that from manual to auto. The next thing we're going to do is decide what day our project will start. For that, we're going to go to Project, Project Information, and we're going to choose the 15th of January. Hit OK. And now we're ready to put our tasks in. Assuming you're working on a project that has five tasks, research, analysis, design, test, and implement. You type your tasks in. Don't put in any start or finish dates. Focus more on the duration. We're going to put in some durations here, arbitrary durations of three days, four days, two days, five days, and three days. When you've put in the tasks, that is, define activities. Now we're going to sequence the activities by linking them. The simple way to link them, go on to task, highlight all of the tasks, and click on the link button. And that links all of your tasks. That accounts for sequence activities. Next, we have estimate activity durations, which we've done, and develop schedule. Boom, you've got your schedule. One of the fancy things you can do with this is go to Gantt chart format and you can show the project summary task and also the outline numbers in lieu of a WBS. You can also type in names of people that you've assigned to the project, so, and Mona. You can also zoom in and out. You can also see this in Q1, Q2 for longer projects. And you can also choose the legend and the look of your Gantt chart if you want it to look different from the default. And when you're done, all you do is go to File. All right, so I'm going to save this. I'm going to call this Project Demo Save. The moment I save, you can see the name of the project file is now Project Demo. Now that you've done define activities, you've sequenced them, you've estimated activity durations, and you've developed your schedule, the final thing you need to do is to control your schedule. Right click and insert a column, and this column we will call it percent complete. As you proceed through your project, and as the work gets done, you can close out each task by typing in 100% when it is truly complete. You'll be able to see a progress bar there in the middle, and that just shows progress for you as the project manager tracking the team's progress. When you put in a 50%, you can see we have just half of it showing and ensure that the team is working cohesively. And that's pretty much how Microsoft Project is. Now, let me show you really quick. There's some other schedules. If we open an existing template, say we say new, and here's a commercial construction project, for example. Click Create. And this shows you this massive project, which could be very inspiring and also very intimidating. But it gives you an idea of how robust Microsoft Project is. If you have enjoyed this session and you want to learn more about Microsoft Project, you want to learn the software, I would advise you to go on down to MicrosoftProjectTraining.com. When you go to microsoftprojecttraining.com, you want to sign up for our program. We have a program here, and this program is currently going out of steel, but it's a very robust program that comes with a certificate of completion, but most importantly, a lot of hands-on knowledge. I wish you all the very best in your Microsoft Project journey. You take care, and bye for now.